know you tell me you've been you've been watching my YouTube channel, right? I watch your YouTube channel. I get to meet you. So we have Marcus here today. Uh, I know he's a tough guy, so he, he doesn't feel pain. Do you feel pain? Not at all. <laughs> I've known Marcus for years, and he's gone through a lot, right? He had oh, a yeah. 10 years of dialysis treatments, and then finally got your transplant, right? Finally got the transplant. And then he's looking great. He gained some weight. Yeah, too he, much. He looks a little <laughs> bit like Steven Seagal, huh? What do you think? <laughs> you know who Steven Seagal? You don't even know who Steven Seagal is. This crew is too young to know Steven He's Steven. not bald right here or getting bald. Oh, he's getting there. <laughs> he's getting there. So I, so I just numbed him. So we have a granuloma here, as you can see. This is a part of infection here. So we're going to take a piece of that as well. So I'm, I've already numbed them. So I'm going to exsanguinate some blood. And then so we can clearly see what's happening. So, rings, huh? Yep, you see how it, it got it stopped all the bleeding. I, I'm taking part of that granuloma out of there. So, so tell me what's been going on, Marcus. Not so, a whole lot. with your new it's life, get right? Better, yeah. yeah, with your new life, you got a new exercise plan. You're exercising, eating all the good food now. Eating is, eat, actually eating pretty much the same way as I was on dialysis. Oh, is that right? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So they're not telling you to eat something different or different type of diet or don't? no? Um, no, low salt. Oh, low salt, okay. I'm trying to do low carb. Low carb? Yeah. That's not easy, huh? No. Yeah. But you have a lot of time now. You don't have to do dialysis. So what do you do instead? Uh, sell music. Huh? Online. Oh, really? Uh-huh. You sell music? You mm -hmm. see the big piece right there. Oh, you sell music? Wow. Yeah. How does that work? Uh, it works, works pretty good. I use uh, Discogs. What is that? Discogs is a place where you basically list up what you have, and mm -hmm. if people want to buy it, they go ahead and buy it. But got it a, instead of owning a store, you have a worldwide audience. So you mail it to them? or? Uh -huh. Oh, really? Okay. So you like you keep your inventory somewhere? Or? Yeah. I've had it inventory of music since i was what 14. oh is that right oh yeah. i didn't know that i didn't know you collect music i play music oh you're a musician i try to be <laughs> <laughs> so you send uh, whatever they want and what kind of music like all kinds of music all kinds of music everything mm. classical punk yeah, I'm with that. Classical? Uh-huh. Punk? Rock, pop, whatever. Oh, really? Whatever's selling. <laughs> so, I mean, is this uh, like an old music or new music or what? All, all kinds. All kinds? Yep. Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't know that. So, that's that's doing good? That's a lot of fun, huh? Well, it's just something, something to... I had to thin out my record collection. Oh, uh -huh. you had too much, huh? Yeah, and it's just something that I... I had to figure out something to do because mm -hmm. uh, just exercising, it's a job in itself, but mm -hmm. you, know, you can only watch so much TV and yeah. you can only watch so much YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I know you tell me you've been, you've been watching my YouTube channel, right? I watch your YouTube channel. I get your emails. Yeah. Very informative. <laughs> we try. Especially we try. the food stuff. Oh, you like the food stuff, huh? Yep. Yeah, well, good. Well, Michael's been my patient for, patient for many years, and I missed him. I haven't seen him in a while since he got uh, the new transplant. He didn't need me need me that much, but no, now... I, I couldn't use the injections that we oh, used really? to get oh, okay. because of the transplant. You right. couldn't use the uh, uh, herbal. Right. It's a lot of herbal stuff you can't use anymore. Uh -huh. So... So that's why I, I didn't see you for a while. I just do the acupuncture. Oh, is that right? Okay. Still doing that. So, okay. So that works that's, out well? That helps out with the pain. Oh, okay. That's Pain great. management. That's my pain management. Okay. Because they want to give me, uh, uh, what they want to give me? Norco first. Uh-huh. And, well, basically the pain medications. Uh-huh. Uh, 
mor morphine or uh, like Demerol or something. Yeah, so it was it was stuff that I do not want to keep taking. Huh? Want to take? Yeah, I don't want to get hooked on it. Right, right. That's all I need. Right. Need something else to happen. Exactly. You don't want that. That's why I'm coming here and getting my toe fixed before I have to have it removed. <laughs> okay. So a lot of people ask me why I'm not using chemical or something to permanently burn this area. I get that question a lot. Um, uh, when this area is infected like this, we cannot put any chemical, we cannot cut it, we cannot do any procedures. Uh, medical legally not correct thing to do, so that's why we don't do it here in the United States. This is how we do things here a little bit different, so that's why I wanted to just answer that. Uh, uh, when he gets better from all of this infection, then we you know, talk about if we need to fix it permanently. A lot of times we don't need to fix permanently if it grows back normally again, which is uh, most of the time. That's why we don't do it automatically, kill the root. Uh, so that's the question that I wanted to answer. So thanks, uh, Marcus, for allowing us to problem. film. So we're just gonna let the tourniquet down a little. I know it's gonna be a little bit bloody here. There you go. So I'm gonna put some bandage here. So when we bandage it, do we put pressure, um, Towards the nail or or away from the nail? Yeah, like toward 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 the. You can put some pressure on there because it's bleeding. Mm -hmm. So just gonna put a lot more bandaging now, and then you can remove it tomorrow morning. But when it stops bleeding, do we still put the pressure towards? Yeah. The nail? Okay. Yeah, towards the nail. Yeah. So that it, is that help it grow right or? Uh, that's a whole different um, thing that we need to talk about. Okay. We need to not cut into the corner too much, obviously. The way we cut uh, your nail has to change. And then obviously wearing shoes that are properly fit would prevent uh, the nail from growing uh, properly. Also, you can pull the nail down, uh, your skin down around the, the nail border. So it allows more space for the nail to grow. That really helps a lot as well. And that could be another video that's coming up, how to prevent ingrown toenails. So we would uh, further discuss that on the next video. Sounds good. Alrighty. So I'm just banding it up. I'm gonna put a little bit more extra bandaging because of the bleeding that went on. And do we we just neosporin? After, uh-huh. After. So you start soaking tomorrow, twice a day, and then... Um, well, I can't, I can't use the, the salt. Uh, you can use salt. You can use salt uh, right away. Uh, Epsom salt, soaking, starting well, I tomorrow. I can't use that for it's because of the kidney. Oh really? Yeah. No salt at all? Not even Epsom salt? No, no Epsom salt. So what, what do I use in place really? of that? Really? Because uh, Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate though. They don't want that. Mm -hmm. I know sodium, they probably don't want it. Yeah, it's not a regular salt. Do you use like Himalayan salt or something? Oh, or? that's, uh, yeah. Okay. But that's a sodium. That's okay with them? That's okay with yeah, them. Really? Yeah, really? But no magnesium sulfate? No. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I wonder why. Why is that? I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that'll be interesting to know why that is, but you heard me. Any kind of salt is good because it kills all the infection. Yeah. So I think it's good to do twice a, twice a day for about a week until yeah. I see you. I was using calophonate for a little while just because it burned, uh -huh. <laughs> but I don't know if that was good or not. Oh, okay. Sometimes it's good. You have to be careful though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So very good. And there you go. And I'll see you. Marcus, next week, and we'll follow up. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you so much.